time for part two of our week-long series, Job Squad. Consumer correspondent Susan Coben takes a look at what it takes to get a job in one of the worst job markets since the Great Depression. And Susan is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Twelve and a half million Americans are out of work, and you're about to meet one of them. A man who worked for a pharmaceutical company for more than two decades. He was living the American dream. Now, every day is a struggle to find a new job. Hey, Bob, it's Jack. How you doing? Um, for the past year and a half, Jack Iannacone's job has been looking for a job. I'm not a unique person in a unique position, but I want to change that. How about um, Tuesday? The last time Jack passed out his resume? Mr. President. Ronald Reagan was president. Betty Davis' eyes was song of the year, and Jack's wife, Jen, was about to give birth to their oldest son. Things have changed since then. His oldest is now a fighter pilot, and his younger two children are living at home. Where are the Russian red peppers going? The company he helped grow started sending its work overseas, and Jack fell victim to downsizing. Realized that all that stuff that kept you busy every day was all of a sudden no longer required, apparently. At first, Jack was hopeful about a new job, but then his severance came to an end. His savings started to dwindle. His wife Jennifer is now working two jobs and they fear having to sell their home. The children worry. I mean, they're concerned. Um, they don't show it too much too often, but I can see it in their eyes. We've gotten through tough times before and we'll get through this. To help him on his mission, we sent in the job squad. Three professionals to help Jack get back on track. Lisa Panarello, a career coach. We need to step that. Nick Nicolette. What are our current assets and resources? And a financial planner. And Lisa Johnson, an image consultant. First task, revamp that resume. Lisa updated Jack's resume by maximizing his experience with bullet points right at the top. So we will take much of his experience for the past 10 to 15 years. And then anything beyond that, you create a whole new section and call it previous experience. And in the age of internet searches and job-seeking websites, Lisa added keywords to the bottom of Jack's resume. Today, if you don't have X percent of the words they're looking for, your resume could easily get kicked out, not even looked at. With his resume updated and polished, his next step was finances. We're at a point where we're basically making ends meet, but we're digging into the savings now. It was time for Job Squad financial planner Nick Nicolette to step in and give Jack and Jen a new financial outlook. As we talked about, you know, the idea of a financial plan is the goal for you to be able to take care of your family. Nick got to work crunching the numbers. He found that by refinancing, the Iannacones could stay in their home and Jack could make half the salary he once made and still maintain his family's lifestyle. That's very helpful. With a positive financial outlook, there was one last job squad member for Jack to meet, Lisa Johnson, image consultant. You want to look young, you want to look fresh, you want to look hip. For Jack, that meant trying on different looks and getting something new, a brand new interview suit from Zappos.com. That is corporate chic. And giving up something old, his mustache. With his updated look, Jack needed to update his presence online. It's a really great way for people to find you. Jack started a blog where he could write about himself. What you want to do is use a lot of words in there that pertain to your industry. Mm -hmm. So that if a job recruiter is going through and looking for someone in, an, in your industry, they'll type in certain keywords and it'll take them to your blog. With Jack's three-month-long job squad training mission complete, he is now rewired to get rehired. And Jack is with us. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, doing wow. well. Wow, how's it feel? Look at you. Feels good, feels good. It's a um, few changes, um, not, not significant changes, but uh, I'm, I'm really prepared now to pursue that new career, that new job. So it's been very helpful. Right. Was it hard to do, though, from the standpoint of, you know, you get 20 years in the business, you do things a certain way, all of a sudden people are saying, shave your mustache, get a different resume, blah, blah, blah. It took a little getting used to, okay. but, you know, um, you, you need to be flexible. I mean, that's the whole, 
with the challenges out there today in the market, you mm. really need to be flexible about s of certain things. Um, you have to expand your horizons and, you know, a, a new look and uh, maintaining a positive outlook mm. are, are, the, are the things you need to, need to have. Uh, uh. And how's it going? It's going. It's, it's slow, but it's going. I've, I've had, you know, some opportunities. Um, I've got close once or twice. Um, just has, hasn't happened yet. But um, I'm continuing to pursue opportunities. And, and he has said, you know, the key is trying to get the foot in the door to actually get face to face with somebody. So right. he's doing yeah. a lot of networking. And that's, more the, that's the biggest challenge. It, it's the fact to get in front of a human being to do face to face discussion. Right. I've always, I've always felt that I do well in, in, in personal interviews. Yeah, and especially hard. without the mustache now. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm just go ahead. I'm well, liking it without the yeah, mustache. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's hard to get in front of that hiring manager or that human resource person person mm -hmm. and that's the biggest challenge these these days how are you doing psychologically because to be so employed and so sort of in the middle of the universe for so long and be where you've been now for X number of months I, I gotta believe that's hard it's it's difficult you, you have your good days you have your bad days but um, several of the things I've learned is is you've got to You've got to manage your life. You've got to get away from the computer. The answer is not being at the computer all day. The mm -hmm. answer is getting out there, um, networking with people, right. um, staying abreast of what's going on out in the industry. Um, do a lot of networking, and that's very helpful. Very Hire helpful. this man. Hire this man. He is ready to go to work. And, you know, and, f and for Jack, he has set up his day where, you know, instead of doing the laundry and wasting time doing that or picking up, you know, the trash in the house and taking that out, he has scheduled his day like a full-time job. You know, mm. from 8 to 9, I'm going to do this. From 9 right. to 10, I'm going to do this. In, in this day and age, finding a full-time job is a full-time job. There you Absolutely. go. Jack, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Susan, thank you very much.